Picture a memory in your mind as a grid of pixels. Each pixel is a cell that makes up a memory of something that is interesting, important, or personal to you. Then you lose a pixel, and another, and another. With enough pixels lost, your memory fades, and you're left to wonder, who am I? Hello, my name is Tatiana. I left my super interesting job at JPL and came in as a medical engineering graduate student at Caltech. Why? Well, I'm really interested in learning how we can solve this loss of self, this loss of memory. So let me tell you a bit of what I'm up to. Brain cells, also known as neurons, are special in that they very seldom, if ever, get renewed. When something does not get renewed and needs to be around forever to hold on to those memories, there needs to be a proper maintenance in place. Part of that maintenance includes the removal of garbage. Now, let's look at some scenarios and where failure to take out the waste can lead to some tragic consequences. In a normal scenario, a cell takes out its garbage. It picks up whatever it doesn't need to, gives it to the garbage man, a garbage man takes it to the waste. Now, let's go through some bad scenarios. What if the garbage man goes on an indefinite vacation? What if the garbage man gets kidnapped, killed, and his truck stolen? What if the cell gets sick and misses the garbage day? Or what if the cell gets lazy and doesn't remove the garbage for weeks? What do we do then? Our cells are full of messages called RNA. These messages get produced from the cell's blueprint, DNA, which tells the cells which components need to be built. Scientists recently discovered that there are proteins in our brain called ARC, which form cages that traffic these messages from cell to cell. Basically, it's you passing a mes message to your neighbor. As I was taking out trash one day, an idea made its way into my head. What if we use these cages to take out the bad messages? This would prevent the garbage man from going to a wrong location or having the cell accumulate all this trash that results in these tragic consequences. I will go through an example of what I have in mind. Let's say the red messages are bad and the blue messages are the good ones. By attaching a recognition element to a building block of this cage, we can tell it to pick up only the bad messages, that is, the red messages. We can also add a go-to element, which will tell the cage where to take its garbage. By putting all the elements together, we now have a cage full of bad messages ready to go to a proper waste disposal. In short, that is what I'm up to. You may be wondering, well, why does that matter to me? Well, imagine if you or your loved one got a disease in which your neurons began to lose contents of who you are. When your garbage man goes out of commission or does not work as efficiently as he used to, you want to have an alternative which can properly take out the garbage from your cells and keep them healthy. Now, engineering the system is no easy feat. We still don't know what all the bad messages are and all the ways that this engineered cage can act unpredictably. But not knowing these things is what makes it so exciting. 